Uh, hey, it's me, Yub. I told you I wasn't going to make you wait too long for part two of the Undertale Don't Forget 2019 fan game experience. If you didn't see part one, then honestly, I just don't know if I understand you because the, I mean, look at the title. I made it so clear. You know what? Go watch part one. We'll all wait. Right, guys? We're all going to wait for you. So I hope you guys brought a book or something like great. Oh, hey. Oh, they're back. Guys, they're back. All right, let's get. Excited to see what goes down now. Uh, if I remember right, there was a void right, yeah, right over here. All the comments were like, oh, you didn't see it. I was like, I did see it. I told you, had to end the video. <sighs> my room's not gonna clean itself and my mom's gonna get really angry. Ooh, so that's a maze. All right, there's a key somewhere that we gotta, it's just a maze. Hold on, what can I see? Let me see what I can see. Oh, the lights don't come back on. Well, that's freaking cool. Gonna find it first try. Then I'm gonna go and eat some french fries. Gonna get some ranch, dip them in them twice, twice. Gonna be tasting very, very nice, nice. Can I stop repeating my words? Can't do it. Girl, didn't you hurt? I'm that boy on the track. Gonna make your booty slap. Looking for the key. Hey, look at me. I look like a monkey. Ha ha ha, he he. Man. I got so lost, I don't know what happened. I'm gonna eat some tossed salad with some chicken and some milk. That's freaking nasty. Oh my gosh, this game just gives you a bunch of busy work. They just keep, they're just keeping me busy. Look at them go. This might be it. You gotta go all the way around the outside, I think. This might get us there. It sure does. Still gotta get back out. <laughs> Excuse me, is this the way out? It is. Give me the freaking prize. I love how mysterious that is. I just love how mysterious it is. Yeah. Hey. We never even went in the school. I'm sure there's once in the school. It's the school message board. Nothing important is ever... Okay, then why do they have it? This is where freaking Susie slammed us into the thing. Like, choke slammed me. I can't drink water from this water fountain or I might catch cooties. That's honestly, that's important in any young man's life. You want to be sure you don't catch cooties. Am I right, guys? Mom! Hey, I want to speak with you. Oh, hello, sweetie. What is wrong? I can sense that you're feeling upset. Call it the intuition of a mother. Your father did not eat the slice of pie I made for you. No, he did not. I will have a word with it. I, he didn't. Listen. You never listen! Do not worry, I will make another pie for you when I get home. And your father will not have any of it. Does that make you feel any better? No, I, the pie was fine, Mom. She doesn't li- She doesn't listen. This bookcase is full of really high-class literature. Yes, it's none other than the Captain Underpants book series. Reading these books made me feel like the smartest kid in class. Okay, so the guy that made this game really likes Captain Underpants and wanted to put it in the game. Mom was always an advocate for appreciating the finer arts, but this just looks like a bunch of shapes to me. Okay, rude. You know, this clock's been broken for a pretty long time. Mom should really get this thing fixed. Okay, I'm so glad I went in the school. What a waste of my life. Bye. There's a snail. How many snails is that? Oh, we only need two more. And some pieces. Yeah. I think we can go back to the top of that mountain. Remember, there was a top of the mountain, but it did, we didn't have enough soul uh, puzzle pieces. I think I've got enough now. If I can remember how the frick to get there. Give me all of your money. Give me all the money that you have. I can't fit through here. Help. Oh, I have enough money to play the arcade. Now, hold up. I wanted to see this Minecraft. Rickster craft. Is it supposed to be like Rick and Morty? Rickster craft. What? I'm low. You can save your... What? It's generating a lot of dirt. This is Minecraft. It's going to be Minecraft. Oh, look. It's real. It really works. How do I... How do I play? It said... Oh. What? Does anyone understand what is happening? I'm gonna use my red blocks. Stop. What is hap- What is happening? Did a bunch of memes throw up on this game? What happened? I'm <laughs> gay. Am I having that weird dream again? Yeah, I don't want to play anymore. The running doesn't work, and I yet I keep freaking trying it. Like something else is gonna happen. 
Yes! Like, I want to go genocide just so I don't have to go through the same... It's like the same fight over and over. Undertale didn't have this problem. Undertale, you never felt like you were forced to go through the same battle over and over. At least in my opinion. I'm kind of feeling like that with this. I'm not trying to be mean. Just saying. Excuse me, which way to the mountain top? Isn't he easy? What do you do to this guy? You just dance. That's it. All I gotta do is do this little dance and then you, uh, you do a little dance and you make a little love. You get down tonight. That's all it is. <laughs> oh, good. It's Whimson. I love me a Whimson. It's free gold. Hi, guys. Wait, this looks like a secret, right? I didn't notice it the first time, but I think I'm somewhere. I'm in the trees. They Where am I going? Hey, right, that's it? Wait, that's all? Could there not have been a back secret, like a secret way to get out of this? Oh my gosh. We should definitely have enough puzzle pieces to do some things now. Did you see? Is this like a glitch one? Have they always done this? Maybe they always did that and I just didn't notice. I'm getting freaked. I'm freaking out, man. <laughs> right? I can do this now for sure. Oh yeah. Shoot the targets before the time runs out. Okay, those shooting ones are hard. Here we go. First try. Take notes. Take take at least one note right now. Watch this. Oop. And I. Oop. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose all my stuff and then there's only 16 seconds. Okay, I have five bullets and three targets. I could. Okay, I have four bullets and three targets. I. Okay, I have three bullets and three targets. I could do this. I can't do it. It doesn't matter. I might as well just. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Last one. And I think there was one in the ruins too that we couldn't do. Let's go to the ruins. Yeah, here it is. Avoid the glitches, find the- Man, these ones are hard too. I don't know- How many soul pieces do I even have left to get? I don't even pay attention. I literally just do stuff because that's the way my brain works. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, awesome. Yo, I would have played Geometry Dash if I wanted to play Geometry Dash. For the record. Okay, we're gonna have to go to one side again. Ah! I didn't even touch that! I'm gone. He's gone. He's out of here. No more. Just the, give me the stuff. Mm. Of course you wouldn't. My gosh, the margin for error is so small. That just makes you, you just gotta go. Got it. Seven. Okay, only three more. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the freak? I can run? How? I've been playing this game an hour. Didn't know you could sprint. I'm so annoyed, but at least now I know. Whoa. He is a fast boy, isn't he? Or girl. Careful taking them corners, sprinting this fast, buddy. You might fall off the mountain. <laughs> And we have to go talk to your mom. This is going to save so much time. How did I not know? I didn't see a single comment telling me. That's okay. I'm the one scouting these fan games out. I understand. You guys don't know. You don't know what you can do. All right. Will this help me? Oh, you can't sprint through here. Gosh dang it. Of course not. Cool. Thank you for that. Th oh, thanks for that too. Oh, look. I was literally just walking randomly. Look. I tried walking randomly trying to find a secret and I found what is this? Oh, what the freak? It's where's Super Mario Kart out here. Also, the sound effect is so loud. I did it. What do I get? A costume? The Kara costume. Oh, and the, oh, they took off my my Super Mario costume. Who even gave you permission? What the freak? Surface costume, Kara costume. Isn't it a weird? Isn't it weird how we all wear the same striped clothes? I mean, the Karen one, that's great. I'm wearing the Super Mario one. I'm sorry. It's just how I feel that I have to act. Man, they got secrets hidden all in this place. You really got to, like, check every path. I found this one just because I was rubbing my face across the trees just to see what happened. Wait, did we do this? We did not do this. It's a freaking geometry dash one. Here we go. Ah! 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 ah. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> I feel like you got to wait... You want to go all the way over here. I feel like going all the way over here is the best, best way to do it. Holy freak. That's eight, boys. Two more, bro. Hey, nice. Do I have to find all the puzzle pieces, though? Like, every last one for real? Do we really need to do that? There's a snail. Only one more. 
There's one right here. I never saw this one. Dodge glitches until the timer runs out. Ooh, they're making new games. Lucky for you, I was the dodgeball champion of, of 1984. So that's going to be just fine. And it closed. Okay, wow. That's actually going to be really tough. This one's not going to be easy. Look at how much. I don't know where to go. Oh, look, I figured it out, guys. <laughs> I figured out the secret. It turns out it's really freaking easy if you're just not brain dead. <laughs> don't be like me. Learn from my mistakes. Go to the corner. I was just basically run into the middle of the room screaming and panicking. Okay, but if I get hit now, does it? do I still lose? I'm not trying to find out. Only one more, which is weird because I've got like 20 puzzle pieces left to find, but okay. Y'all got any more of them? Just around here, kinda. Hey, you're back. Did you find anything about that old house? Is everything okay? You look upset. If you need some time alone, that's all right. Yeah, we understand, bro. Go do whatever it is you need to do. We'll always be here for you, Felipe. Oh, by the way, I literally didn't know. I don't watch Flamingo. Everyone's telling me in the comments, oh, you ripped off Flamingo with Felipe. Bro, it's a name. It's there's people in this world named Felipe. Did we go out here all the way? Look. Cool. But this doesn't really help me get in one more puzzle piece. I mean, soul piece. Just one. Tim, could you bring me one, please? There's the last freaking snail. Hooray. I'm gonna look in our house. I don't know why, but I feel like there could be one in our house. Back so soon. Ah, oh, is something the matter? If you need to be by yourself for a while, that is fine. Otherwise, you can always join me for a cup of tea. Do not push yourself. I know things have been hard lately. Perhaps some more time outdoors will cheer you up. It might be cloudy, but sunshine is still trying to pour in. The fresh air can do a lot of good. Try to enjoy it. Thanks for the no help, Dad. I really appreciate that. Was this open before? Oh! I mean, it was, but we got three puzzle pieces out the deal. Okay, there's no soul piece in here, though. Like I thought there might be. My bet is that there's probably one in some of the weird tall grass somewhere. Like way off in the random tall grass. Don't you think? The snail guy's over here somewhere, right? Where's the snail guy? Hey, bro, I found your snails. I'd like to return it. Here you go, bud. You found all my snails. Thank you so much. Please accept this gift as a token of my gratitude. I got 80 gold. Not only that, but to show our thanks, we'd like to invite you to our house party. If you go to the snail family house, you'll be able to go inside and jam. Thanks again for your help. Okay, don't let me forget to go jam at the snail house because that sounds just like something I do want to do, you know? It's annoying the way the battles are working. I'm going about three feet in between times. I knew there was going to be a secret path down here. I freaking knew it. Oh, it's a graveyard. They hit it well. Feel free to have a seat and take a moment to reflect. Remember those we have lost and the lives they've impacted. I'm not... I don't know how to sit. My legs don't bend. Who are these people? Here lies... Okay, I don't feel like... Innocent and pure of heart taken too soon. The name is faded out. Here li... Oh, there's all kinds of riddles down here. I don't know if I feel like... Only the A's and E's are left? Like, why? Am I supposed to know the answers to all these? Peppa Pig. That's who that one is. Why would all the names be faded out? Proud scientist and loving father. The name's faded out. Bro, how are you even going to keep these stones if all the... That look like Asgore. Hold on. Why is there a grave? Look. That's Asgore Dreamer. Why is there a grave? Asgore is at home. Maybe Gaster was right. 72 out of 26 needed. Level 6. Okay. Avoid the glitches and find the soul piece. He, t he said that our reality was a lie. And he could be right because we just found the graves of all of our friends. Like, what? Nothing I love more than a good old-fashioned geometry dash level here. Uh, get ready. Uh, uh. It's such a simple thing, and yet it's so difficult for me to do for some reason. It's just very easy to mess up. And you get messed up, you get sent all the way back. Look, there. what's with these secrets? Look at that. Or maybe these are all in the same place. I think it teleports you all to the same area to do it. Ten soul pieces. 
Now we go back to Gaster's house and say, hey, what the freak? Okay, I'm just gonna take my Super Mario looking butt and get the freak out. I don't have all the puzzle pieces, but I just want to go see what the storyline actually is. I don't know if I feel like running down every secret in this demo. I kind of feel like that's ruining it for you guys who are going to download this, hopefully, and play it for your gosh dang selves. You tell me what happens. What's the secret? Leave it in the comments down below. The Super Mario costume gives you 10% more speed. Everybody knows that. All right, we go back here. All right, then we go back right here. I have everything that I need. Am I ready to activate the machine and leave? Once I leave, I can never come back. Yeah, just do it. Press the start button on the keyboard. You'd think he would have known it was going to explode, considering it threw him across the room the first time. This could all just be a fever dream, because he got knocked out on the freaking wall when the machine exploded anyways. Oh, freak. Yep, yeah, we're back, back here in the void again. I hope I can avoid uh, a concussion. <laughs> Maybe this is why everybody else was able to beat this game in one video because they knew about the sprint button and I didn't. <laughs> Yo, I'm back. Mr. Gasta. Greetings. Welcome back. I see you have found all 10 soul pieces. I see you still talk super slow. Excellent work. I'm proud of you. I am surprised you are holding up as well as you are. What you mean, fam? Perhaps it has not hit you yet that what I said is true. No, I believe I think we're all on the same page. No one can be expected to just suddenly adapt. Are you going to turn around and show me your face? You're going to keep teasing me. To, to being told... Oh, just adapt to being told that their whole life has been a lie. But you must understand. What I have said is the truth. The signs are all there. Why did nobody acknowledge the wormholes or artifacts? Oh, that's true. No one said anything about those suddenly appearing. Why do they all repeat themselves? Oh, he's breaking the fourth wall because it's in a video game. Why does nobody ever leave the town? The answer is simple. Because they are not programmed to do so. Yeah, he's, he's breaking my mind right now. I am sorry. Perhaps I am being too blunt. But you have to be taking this seriously. Three lives are on the line, including your own. If you stay in this world, it will corrupt further, and you will die. The same goes for the other two. My, bro my brother, sisters, they could die, but you can save them there can still be a happy ending. Do you understand? Does he want me to delete the game? Okay, I made my point. Now, with the 10 soul pieces you found, we can form a soul shard. And one time I sharded my pants. <laughs> I had split my soul into three shards long ago. <laughs> Sorry, two more shards of it. I can't see that word now. Two more shards of it still remain out there in pieces. In order to wake the others, you will need to destroy these shards. You will need to enter their world and find more soul pieces. As for this shard of my soul that we have now, it must be destroyed so that you can leave. But isn't he going to die? Once it is gone, you will wake up in the real... What's the real world? i never been there. I do not know what condition the world outside is in. Oh, this is scary, bro. All we can do is hope for the best. If it is possible, I will try to speak to you again soon. Oh my gosh, he types so slow. I'm sorry, it drives me nuts. But until then, this is goodbye, Felipe. Once this shard of my soul breaks... You will be freed. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hit me, Dad. Do it. Oh, don't hit me. Here we go. He went. <laughs> he Thanos snapped it. Is it going to say end of chapter one? We fell through a window. I fell through a window. I heard it. Oh, freak. Look. Wait, we were in a... It's like the Matrix, dude. We were in a little machine. Fatal error. Primary soul no longer responding. Yeah, we were in some type of like stasis chamber. It won't turn on. This looks like the 
The books are about the anatomy of the human body. This looks like the start of Pokemon. This is Professor Oak's lab. Preservation room one, do not enter. Where are we? It's creepy. There's no music. The elevator's gonna work, right? Elevator still seems to be functional. Yeah, use it. So if the elevator still works, I mean, someone's running this place. The hands on the clock are stuck in place. But is it the clock that has stopped moving or is time itself frozen? Oh, here we go with this junk. Entry number one. I have begun my research on advanced simulations. My plan is to create two machines capable of rendering simulated realities. However, such machines would require incomprehensible amounts of power to maintain. Even rerouting all of the available power in this lab to them would not be enough. I need to come up with a better solution. So is this gasser? Because there's wingdings behind everything. Entry number two. It has been a few days and ideas are scarce. The only possible solution I could think of would be to use a soul. Even a single monster soul would be enough to provide sustainable power. However, this would mean that someone would have to give up their life. Wait, was that me? Their soul would need to be split into three pieces, one for each chamber. I am willing to give up my own soul, since it is for them. Okay, so Gaster gave up his soul. Then why was I in stasis? Entry number three, I have begun designing the simulation machines. I will create two of them, as a human soul has to be isolated. The machines will have preservation chambers connected to them. <coughs> I will place their bodies within them so that they can be sustained. Who knows how long they will have to be in there? Perhaps forever. So he had us and himself locked up to make this alternate reality for everyone to live in where they think everything is perfect, but it's not even real. Up, preservation room two, left research room, right power room. So who's in preservation room two? The door needs to be powered on. Okay. Can I go this way? Oh, here we go again. Entry number four. I have begun construction on the first machine. Harlow walked in while I was frustrated about something and I yelled. They ran out in tears. I should have no I know I should not have been so harsh. They have all been a little restless lady. La oh my gosh, lately. They must be bored. There's not much down here to occupy themselves with after all. I will need to find something for them to do for a while. Who's Harlow? Oh my gosh, I accidentally clicked on this thing. Who is Harlow? Entry number five. I came up with a task for all three of them. I asked them if they would create the perfect world, what would it be like? They've been drawing and writing about all the things it would have. Sands did not w want much. He said he would be fine as long as we were together. Papyrus said that he would be a member of the King's Royal Guard to protect us. Harlow drew a picture of all of us together in a happy little town. Even the King, the Queen, and their children were all there smiling. Harlow had met them before, everything happened, and seemed to really like them. So none of, he wasn't kidding, none of that was real. And that's why, hold on, but Sans and Papyrus weren't there. They gotta be here somewhere. I wonder if they're all still alive. Sans and Papyrus have to be in here somewhere, right? Are all these gonna be locked? I'll check them all. Just in case, you know. Okay, I checked everything, bye. More reading! Entry number six, I'm constructing the first simulated reality. This one will be made just for Harlow based on their perfect world. That's where we just came from. I will create AI that look and behave like the king's family. However, their roles will be changed around. The king and queen will be regular townsfolk and Harlow will be their child. Kara and Azrael will be Harlow's siblings, the perfect family. I will not add AI of myself or Sansa Papyrus into the simulation. Something about it just would not feel right. Well, none of this is right in the first place, but even more so. Once in these simulations, they will eventually lose all memories of reality. It is best to keep it that way. So he just have, a, have us hanging out in these simulations forever? Why do we need to be in an alternate reality? What's wrong with this world? Entry number seven, I'm now creating Sands and Papyrus' simulation. While human souls must be isolated due to their power, monster souls do not. Therefore, Sands and Papyrus can share the simulation. For Sands in particular, I know that's what he would want. I regret that they cannot all be together, but there's no choice. Sands is a type who would prefer a quiet little town to live in. Therefore, I will create a small town for both of them to live together. I will make it a snowy town as Papyrus really enjoys the snow. And of course, I will create some sort of royal guard for him to be in. That should keep them both happy. It'll take a long time to complete this, but I will go as fast as I can. The sooner they can get out of this horrific reality, the better. Interesting. Ooh, is this simulation chamber two? Where's Sands and Papyrus? What do we have here? Power room, locked, unlocked. Ba bow. Ba bow bow. It's been unlocked. Most of the books are about simulations, but for some reason there's a few joke books off to the side. These jokes are terrible. <laughs> Alright, Sans. 
There's a bunch of documents about computer simulations. All right, bye. Interesting, interesting, okay. I have kind of an issue with games that explain everything you need to know through some stuff you read, but I mean, a lot of games are like that, including Undertale, so I can't really complain too much. Let's go to the power room, which is now unlocked. The power room is gonna power up the other room, but now we have to read some more stuff. Entry number eight, Harlow keeps asking me when we can go back up. I do not have the heart to tell him that we can never go back. That is why I am making all these simulations for them, so that they never have to know. Hit this. This switch should power on the central door. Boosh, babushka, we've unlocked the door. Let's go. Well, is Sans and Papyrus gonna be in here, dude? Because that's gonna be kind of creepy, right? They're gonna be all in stasis, just there. Entry number nine. After many months, simulations are complete. The diagnostic suggests that the machines are capable of running them. All I need to do now is set up the machines and then I must give up my soul. The machines require soul power to sustain themselves and the preservation chambers. So I'll be going through that with the plan of using my soul to do it. Perhaps my consciousness will live on somewhere inside. It did. It did. And then I would be able to watch over my children so I know they're happy. But it does not matter. Either way, it must be done. Wait, he's my daddy? Entry number 10. They're all asleep. Now is my chance. I will carry each of them to their chambers and place them inside. Once I have done that, I will place a piece of my soul within each one. My soul will be absorbed by the machine and used as a power source. It should be able to run forever, as long as the soul pieces stay whole. That's why he wants us to break them. There's no way to know if my soul pieces will deteriorate over time. I just need to hope for the best. Once the last piece is absorbed, I should cease to exist. To my dear children, if you ever somehow read this one day, just know. I love you so much. He is my daddy. He is, I didn't know. And how is Sans and Papyrus, is his, is his daddy too? One of them appears to be a joke book. He's got these joke books everywhere for Sans, I guess. Are they going to be in here? It won't turn on. Yeah, they're going to be right up here, huh? There they go. He's T-posing. There's someone inside. They look like they're wearing a blue hoodie. I do not know. Them. And yet I recognize their smile. What happened to us? There's Papyrus. Someone inside. They're wearing some kind of weird costume. I do not know them. And yet I recognize their outfit. So what do I do? Pull them out? There's a message. Welcome to Star Machine Operating System V10. Scanning nearby area. Scanning. He said we had to go in their world and get the soul pieces, right? Soul located. Current user is a purple human soul. Would you like to begin the transfer protocol? This is a beta transfer to remotely transfer your consciousness. You'll be able to enter the current simulation. However, this could be fatal or cause glitches. Sure. That's where the demo ends. Do you see the little glitches? By Ricky G. Oh, man. You know what? It's a good story. I'm hearing something far in a faraway land. It's the credits. Okay. The story is good, man. It is, it's pretty much The Matrix. Let's be real. It's, if you've never seen The Matrix, that's the story. It's like everyone's living in this perfect world simulation so that they don't have to face what's actually happening and their bodies are just in like a stasis chamber somewhere. You're basically in a coma, but your mind is happy because you think everything's perfect. Pretty dark story, which I mean, let's be real, that fits the tone of Undertale perfectly. Super dark game, super dark story. So I guess that's just chapter one. The next thing you'll put out, we'll go in there and see Sands of Papyrus. Wait, secret bosses? Where are the secret bosses? Hold up. I wonder if we're gonna have to like fight Sands of Papyrus to get the soul pieces from them, or if we just have to convince them that this is a simulation, or maybe we don't tell them anything and we just, we're like, hey guys, good to see ya. Gonna need those soul pieces. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I truly enjoyed making it. Very fascinating story. Let's make sure real quick that there's nothing after these credits, because sometimes it do be like that. To be continued. Okay, it brings you back there. And there's apparently a multiplayer and a randomizer, which is very cool. Very full featured for a fan game. Just gonna throw it out there. So yeah, I'll see you the next time he updates something on this or if I find something in the comments or something that I think is worthy of video. So please let me know if you know of any cool secrets in this game. Thanks for being here, you little Undertale people. I'll see you the next time I post something Undertale related. <laughs> Keep those chins up and work hard. Believe in yourselves because I believe in you. And as always, have a bye five.